ActiveAt Unformat is a versatile utility that will help you recover data from a physical device or a logical drive that's been accidentally formatted, recently deleted, or recently deleted and recreated. The major features and functionality of Unformat include creating a disk image for the selected drive or device that can be restored back to the starting point if data recovery is impossible, or scanned repeatedly to try other recovery methods. Unformat scans the device or logical drive and finds all partitions, either existing, deleted, or reformatted. It displays scan results in a format that allows you to browse folders and files and determine recovery status. It recovers a selected partition or data from it using one of the following methods, physical recovery, unformat, and copy. With unformat open, we first want to look at our options. To do this, in the upper right hand corner of the window, click the cog. Here, we can decide what to do when there is not enough space to store a disk image. We can select a default scan type. If you select quick scan, unformat will do a quick scan on the drive first, and then if no quick scan results are available, it will do a super scan. Or you may say always super scan, and it will skip the quick scan attempt. And you can select a default scan mode. Either create a disk image to be able to reformat a volume and to roll back changes if needed, or to work directly with a physical device. On the left hand side of the screen, you can decide where the disk image should be saved. In my scenario, I've chosen my C drive. With everything as I would like it, I will click the blue check mark and let's get started. Let's start with step one. In the upper right hand corner, I see there are five steps and I see that step one is my current step. And in step one, you simply select the disk that you want to work with. In the unformat workspace, a list of items appear. And the content of this list varies depending on which items you have selected. You can work with logical drives, physical drives, and disk images. If you don't see a drive you should on the list, in the upper right hand corner, click the refresh button. I'm going to choose my USB drive, and with that selected in the upper right hand corner, I'll click the double blue arrows pointing to the right. Now I can see that I've advanced to step two, and step two is creating a disk image. This step is executed only when you select a scan mode that starts from creating a disk image. Creating a disk image is recommended because you can roll back any changes to physical partition structure later on. However, it does take time and requires a lot of disk space. After the disk image has been created, the disk content is scanned automatically and a progress bar is displayed for that scan. Messages about the partition status or about detected errors are displayed on the screen. After the scan is complete, scan results are automatically saved to a file in the directory where the disk image is located. With this record combination of the disk image and the scan results, if the original recovery attempt is not successful, you may reuse the original information in the future for a different type of recovery. Original scan results can be loaded quickly to avoid another time-consuming disk scan process. After the scan is complete, unformat automatically moves to step four. In step four, you select a device or a partition and start the recovery process. So I will select files detected by signature. In here, I can see that Unformat found compressed archives, formatted text files, Microsoft Office files, photos and images, and QuickTime Multimedia. If I like, I can recover these files. For example, if I click QuickTime Multimedia, say Recover 2, I will select my desktop as my destination. And once the process is completed, if I'd like to see the results, I could click Open Target. And now in my desktop, I have my QuickTime Multimedia folder. Within that folder, my MP4 folder, and the MP4 itself, which matches the QuickTime Multimedia MP4 and the file, just like the file tree within Unformat. I can also select the USB drive itself, and I can see the files located within that. 
For more information about ActiveAt Unformat, go to www.unformat.com.